Hello everyone, this is the next video from Serena and today we are going to talk about how to heat the copper wire on the metallic anvil. Um, this is a very old one, actually I used it uh, for metallic buttons for jeans um, with a special cliche for buttons. And this is my little Homer, it's a very old one. I prefer old ones because <clears throat> the surface is very polished. Uh, with the hard work and the corners are also smooth and not really sharp and just it's very clear and also I like the size because it's not big hammer for um, for other needs so it's very comfortable to carry on in the hand and to work with the small crafts. I try to work on the soft uh, towel. I took the old not needed towel and just made like this to make the surface thicker to avoid the too much loud sounds if you have a small kids and neighbors. So this is the anvil, whatever you have, it's uh, like a thick metal just to put the connector on it. This is the connector I don't need so just I will sacrifice it today. Uh, to show you the technique. So now I'm gonna hit the wire to make it flat and also I will show you the uh, popular mistakes which beginners do usually. So just I start beating um, just uh, um, when I start beating I try to spread my power of my hands and the surface of hammer uh, to spread it on the wire, not just to hit in one place strongly. I'm not putting too much power in it, especially because this wire is rather thin, it's 075, it's rather soft, and there is no need to scratch it, cr crash it, and just to beat it with lots of power. If you put too much power in your actions, um, you will damage the wire seriously. <coughs> And it will have ribs and uh, scratchings, which will be not possible to polish. <clears throat> so the little curl on the end, I beat separately. And now you see the difference, that this look very, really lovely. If you don't like to use a fire to make a small balls on the ends of the wire, then you better make a curl and just to hit it. Uh, to make it flat so your jewelry will look more professional more interesting and after you polish it uh, just to remove a little scratchings and um, to make the surface more smooth it will look really really much more better than before <laughs> so if if we turn to the other side of jewelry we see that this surface is much smoother than uh, the surface we were hitting. Uh, that's why generally when um, I'm doing this work I'm uh, hitting um, my craft on the back side and the front side is touching the metal of the anvil uh, and it works much better. So now I'll show you the popular mistake. So you see these two curls Generally, people who do it the first time just beating uh, the wire, the curls, and that's what they have in the end. So the wire, um, the, the front wire just um, came inside of the underneath wire. And if we separate them, we will see serious, awfully looking scratch surface which is not possible to correct somehow whatever you do whatever you polish or hitting it again with the hammer it's not possible to correct so remember never hit the wire if something is on the top uh, other curl other wire only um, only one wire can be can be hit it so So if you see on the cam how seriously it's scratched and it looks so ugly. 
and it's not correctable just the one thing you can do is just to cut it and throw it away so that's what I'm going to do because no sense to try to correct it so think about it and remember this rule you see uh, copper is a soft metal so there's no sense to beat the curl which has other curl on the top <laughs> And if you make any craft, separate everything before hitting. So, just this is the first rule, the main rule. Uh, also, when the uh, copper is beaten by a hammer, it, become, it becomes uh, much more rough than before. And it's very uh, difficult to create the curl, even with the round nose pliers. So we create all the shape of our craft. And then we separate the curls as much as we can, very uh, gently. And only then start beating it. So this is also very popular mistakes because um, this is a prepared craft and just you put it on the anvil and start beating it and the wire change the destination while you're hitting it and very oftenly small details start touching each other during the work accidentally while you're watching the movie or your kids in the mirror whatever and suddenly it happens like that so one curl comes over another one and just you made two uh, actions and everything is spoiled no sense trying to correct it it's uncorrectable and that job actually so if two curls are too close to each other don't try to beat them together open the craft and do it only separately to avoid such mistakes because it's very embarrassing especially if you make a last craft or you don't have a wire anymore and you need to finish today so it's really embarrassing as you see even the um, hammer could not correct the situation whatever I did the uh, scratchings is not disappearing so so this is the most popular mistakes um, the rest of technique is very simple nothing special but it's really changing the wire so this to uh, this craft is damaged and I'm going to throw it away so remember about and next time I will, I will use this technique to make uh, the same shape connector for the earrings as you see it's also hidden by hammer and that's all for today see you next time guys bye